Good morning. It's 38 degrees. I'm freezing. <laughs> Y'all are gonna be so jealous of my outfit. Wait till you see this. Oh yeah. So <laughs> basically I have my jammies on and then I put sweatpants on, a house coat, and then this nifty scarf that I made. This was like my first finished object ever. So yeah, it still gets use. So that's awesome. Um, I'm about to cook breakfast and I'm making hot coffee this morning because you know, it's cold outside so I can. And that's what I'm up to. It's early, it's 620. So I think I'm going to knit for a few minutes before I have to have a shower. So I will see you guys in a little while. It's cold enough to wear a sweater. So I decided I would wear my Ingalls sweater. I haven't worn it yet. It was downstairs still in my office and I was like, oh, I'm gonna go get that and wear it. Cause I remembered that I had weaved in ends. I forgot to block the damn thing. <laughs> so I'm wearing it anyway, because I just don't care. And like 99% of the people in the world don't know that it's not blocked, but I know. So there's like two little weird things with it because it hasn't been blocked yet. All right, so the first thing that's weird is the sleeves. They're like bracelet length sleeves right now, so I've pushed them up some. Um, of course, I knit them that way because I'm a heavy blocker, so I knew for sure that whenever I blocked them, you know, they would grow and be the right length. Um, the other thing is it's kind of like scrunchy. I don't know, it's like not, you know, it's like not blocked out yet, um, but it fits really good. So I'm happy with it and I was actually, first thing I was gonna do was wear my sapila. I'm like, okay, cool, cause I have a jacket that would go with that. It's fingering weight and then my jacket is like white and it has that same color brown as my sapila has in the yoke part. I haven't weaved in the ends and I don't feel like taking the time to do that. So basically I am paying for all my knitting sins this morning because two sweaters I've wanted to wear have either not been blocked or either we, I wanna say weaves not ended in, <laughs> ends not weaved in. So I'm just like, I don't know. Knitting sins, see that's why you do the right thing from the get go, because whenever you're ready to wear something, you should just do the right thing whenever your project's done. So that way it's ready too. So anyways, <laughs> all that to say, I am about to go to the store. I've got to get a few things. I basically only need the sewing. I need bread, yogurt, and like juice. It's like the stupidest grocery run ever, but I'm gonna go because I really want juice, honestly. I've found recently, recently meaning like the past probably year or two, anytime I have a beer, like that night and then the next day, like I'm dying, like I feel like I need something to hydrate me and juice is like the thing for me. Um, I know water and I drink a ton of water. That's the only thing I really drink other than like coffee and you know, the occasional beer on the weekend but, well, and tea sometimes, but anyway, <laughs> I um, basically just feel like whenever I have a beer, I'm like, oh my gosh, the next day, like I could drink probably like a gallon of juice and not even feel hydrated yet. So I'm gonna go get juice. And this is after one beer. I think this is how you can tell you're like getting older because used to, it didn't bother me like that. Even if I drank like, you know, real drinks, like liquor drinks back whenever I was younger. But now I'm just like, oh, I feel like I'm dying. Not really like in the like sickness way, but just like dehydrated. Like my body feels like the desert. So anyway, I'm gonna go do that and get some yogurt and get some bread and then I'm gonna come home and work. And I'm excited to take my sweater out in the wild. <laughs> After I get home, I'm gonna block it though because this is a bunch of bull crap right here. I should have been a better knitter. I didn't set out to do a sprout haul today, but I'm going to, I guess, because I got a lot of good stuff. So, in bag number one, I got organic sunrise coffee, fresh ground from Sprouts. And I don't like to get, if I'm trying one, I don't get a whole pound, so I got like maybe a third of a pound, so that's awesome. Brown sourdough bread. Um, this is also Sprouts bread, brand bread. These are awesome. Um, 
They are, what flavor is this? Handful of herbs, it's whole roasted cashews. These are legit, I've had them before. I got some Roma tomatoes, I think there's four. Okay, four of those. A red bell pepper. And then, I was kind of getting low on bars. I used to order them, but then I haven't ordered any in a while, so I've kind of started making, uh oh. I thought I threw something in the floor. I've kind of started making like more like warm breakfast stuff. Um, and I tend to do that in the winter. I make more, you know, take more time on my breakfast where in the summer, I guess because it's so light out so early, like I feel like just eating a bar is enough for me in the summer. I don't know. So anyways, um, two of the macro protein replenishment, which is peanut butter flavor. Two of the go macro, Protein Pleasure Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip. And then um, a Betty Lou Blueberry Fruit Bar. I love these. And then a Betty Lou Peanut Butter and Strawberry PBJ Bar. So those are snacks. The bars are like a breakfast thing and then the other ones are a snack. And then I've started getting these a lot. So these are just little single serving things of um, you know, peanut butter or almond butter or whatever kind of butter. But I like to have these on hand. I think they're a fun way to try different types of peanut butter, which, or I call all of them peanut butter, but I know they're nut butters. Anyway, it's a fun way to try different flavors because there's a lot of different ones. So I like cashew butter a lot. I've only tried one almond one and it was an almond maple. And I liked it a lot, but I wanted to try a few others. All right, so that was bag number one. Sorry, I'm like way not on the screen. You guys probably don't care. Most of you are probably knitting anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, um, I got mushrooms, organic white mushrooms to be exact. I've never had this brand, but I was on the hunt for yogurt and I had a coupon for this. So one's blueberry, one's strawberry, and they're just a good karma brand. Um, they're made with flax milk and the fat and calories is comparable to the ones with soy milk. A lot of times whenever you get into the different nut milks, they tend to be more, you know, caloric and fattening. So anyway, I got one day of peach Greek yogurt. I love those, those are so good. Frozen broccoli, which was on my list. Lemon burst home free cookies. Um, this was not on my list. Most everything was not on my list. The only thing that was on my list was yogurt, juice, and bread. So you've seen two of the things. I ended up getting two things of juice. I've had this one before. This is legit. I've not had this one before. This is Tropical Orange Aid. I've not had that one, so I'm interested to try it. I only needed one juice, but I got two because I saw that one I've never had. Um, Sweet Earth Chipotle Seaton. I don't know, is it called Satan? Satan? Whatever it is. Satan? Satan? Anyways, I got this. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I think I might possibly cook it like I did that Philly cheesesteak situation that day with my pepper and onion, or pepper, I didn't get an onion, but pepper and mushroom, and maybe melt some provolone on it and make it in the panini press with my sourdough, possibly, maybe. And then I got a bag of these. So. Sun rays. What are these? Mandarins. <laughs> so they're just little mandarin oranges. So that's all I got. And I'm super happy with all my food. I'm excited to try out my yogurt that's new and this bread and that new juice. Everything else I've had. But I think I'm actually gonna shake this up and drink some of it in a minute because like I said earlier, I feel like I'm dehydrated almost, so I'm gonna have some of that. And I love this time of year for oranges. Oh my gosh, oranges are my favorite and the dogs love them too. So I got these little baby ones because they had a ton of them. So I'm assuming they're in, you know, actually in season because you can get them year round, but certain times of year they taste better. So hopefully they're in, they're ripe and in season and like, you know, tasty and not dead tasting. So anyways, that's what I got. I'm gonna go take some pictures of this before I block it, just because I I feel like it's cute. And also I wanna show the difference between it being blocked and not blocked. So I'm gonna run and do that. And then I've gotta work for a little bit and then I'm sure I'll talk to you guys later on.
low. So I've changed my shirt, put on a good old hoodie. I need to block that sweater. So I just ended it, took it off. I'm gonna block it. Um, and whenever I took it off, I discovered that I hadn't actually weaved in everything that I thought I had. So thank God that stayed hidden. <laughs> I had no idea. There was like some stuff, I guess, where I'd attached different yarn through the thing, like throughout the body that I didn't weave in. So yeah, good thing that was hidden, right? Um, I did manage to take a couple of before blocking pictures though, so that's good. I've been working on my texture time MCAL. Um, I wanna show you guys what I've done. I've finished half of, wait, I finished all of clue one and I've finished the first half of clue two and I've picked up the stitches for the second half of clue two. I'll put a little whatever video of it in a second after I get done with this section. So cover your eyes if you don't wanna see. This is my progress so far. Bella's under it in her dirty outfit from yesterday. Hello. She can't hear. So this is clue one, all finished. I absolutely love these. Oh my gosh. I'd never done them before, so I'm loving them so, so much. So this is clue one. This is half of clue two. The other half of clue two is gonna go up here where Bella is. So hopefully that won't take me too long. Um, it should go faster than this one went because I had to learn to do this and I had to undo them like twice. So this should go faster. So anyway, that's where I am. The puppies are doing a puzzle since it's so cold outside and we can't really go for a walk. I thought I would give them something fun to do. So that's what you hear. I'll link the puzzles that we have below. There's a lot of different ones, but I'll link the ones 